Hello everyone. Welcome to AITech1.com. My name is Sumit and here I'm with my new video in Salesforce Lightning Experience. And the topic for today's video is how to perform a manual sharing operation in Salesforce Lightning Experience. Uh, you might you might have experienced this that this is one of the features that is really we missed in the salesforce lighting experience and that's the ability to manually share records with one to another user uh, if you guys remember in uh, salesforce classic we used to have that option earlier we used to have that option that whenever we want to perform a manual sharing we used to get a sharing button and uh, while clicking on that button we can perform manual sharing but that feature is not available in salesforce like so that feature is still available in salesforce classic but in salesforce lightning it is not available so therefore uh, the salesforce labs they comes with a lightning component on app exchange and that component is known as the lightning sharing and uh, using this component basically we can share the records to we can perform manual sharing or we can share records to a user in lightning experience so in this video i'm going to explain you same that how to set up that application and how to perform uh, how to perform a manual sharing in lightning experience so there are few prerequisites for perform, to download and install that application and configuration so the first thing is you need to configure a domain so as you can see in my Salesforce config in my Salesforce instance, I have successfully configured a domain. So I've already registered a domain, uh, my domain actually. I've already configured a my domain in my environment. So this is very much required because we are going to download a component, and that component is is for us to to run a Lightning component. As all of you know, a domain is very much required. So I have already configured a domain for my Lightning. This is the first requirement. Second requirement is we need to get to the sharing settings. And in sharing setting, let me show you there's an object called a new position in my recruitment application. And in this recruitment application, uh, I'm missing the sharing button. Although I have already configured the OWD for my position object as a private. So as you can see, it's already configured as private still I'm not able to get the sharing button and in this uh, like if we if we'll be working on a classic we will be getting the lightning button or the sharing button over there so this is what we are actually missing here so so the second step you have to configure is you have to you have to set the OWD uh, OWD default internal access to private for the object which you are looking for or to which record we want to share the third thing we have to do is we have to navigate to the app exchange and download and install an application. So I visit app exchange and in visit app exchange, search for lightning lightning sharing. This is a component which we need to download. So click on component and when you click on component you will get a lightning sharing option this is prepared by the salesforce lab so click on this bar click on this component and get it now it's freely available so you need to only download and install it so the steps are same in all, uh, the steps to download any application from app exchange is same as we have done multiple times in our previous videos so I just say install here in this org and confirm and install. Install for all users and click on install. So like this application is the app name is lightning sharing. The publisher is the Salesforce lab and we'll be working with the spring 20 version. This may take few minutes to download and install and giving permission to giving permission or access to all users on this lightning sharing application so it's a component as you can see it's a component that's why we configured our domain we registered a domain beforehand in order to use this component so it's done i click on done and uh, i can close it 
and I can quickly go and check the installed applications whether the application has been installed on install packages so I can just go and uh, I can just navigate to install packages and check the packages installed successfully it's in used and it can be used with two objects right now so now what I'm going to do is the next step is that how are we going to get that button here and in order to do that two things we have to configure number one we need to add an action button and number two we need to uh, we need to add that action button uh, over here so the first step for the first step I navigate to the object manager and in object manager I navigate to the object new position object and in new position objects so the first thing I will be doing is I will be going to the custom uh, lightning action button lightning links and action I click on new action and in this action I'm going to choose a lightning component because the 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 package we have installed that's a component so I click on lightning component and it will automatically find out the lightning component that is the component name height label I call this as share and click on save so this would be installed as a lightning sharing action this is the first step second step is we need to add this lightning sharing button the, the action we have created we need to add this on the layout so I'll just say new position I'll get back to the object once again and navigate to the page layout actually I have got multiple layouts so I'm just <coughs> navigating to the layout one of the layout and click on mobile and lightning action and as you can see here I have got Salesforce mobile and lightning experience and I drag and drop this sh share button over here it is added you can add it anywhere although it is not going to be appeared directly we have to take one more action we have to perform one more customization on our page and in order to do that I get back to the record I'll uh, navigate back to the object I like I navigate to one record I open one record and uh, what we'll be going to do is we would be going to configure the dynamic actions to know more about dynamic actions uh, you can visit my another video a separate video I have prepared how to configure dynamic actions in Salesforce lightning experience the description will be uh, the the link to that video will be available in the description you can check it out from there so I click on edit page so it will redirect us to the lightning app builder and in this lightning app builder I click on the highlight panel and in highlight panel I am going to enable the dynamic action so I click on dynamic action and I'm going to add dynamic actions now so I need a dynamic action as edit I need one more dynamic action as clone and I need one more dynamic action as delete and finally the action we created as a share so we got the share action here we can change the location I just moved this beforehand maybe before edit and it is share let's save this and activate this so I have already configured the setting as org default so it would be available for the whole organization click on back and let's test it out and in order to test it we get back to the record and you can see we got a share button when we click on share button it will open in a new option so as you can see this is a component so in order to execute in order to uh, in order to use this sharing action the domain is required that's why I registered a domain so click on share and as you can see there is I'll just remove this in order to share a, in order to share this record with a specific user click on add new permission you can share this with a user or a role for a public group so I'm going to share this with a user and I just search for a user called uh, this select this this is a, this is one this is one of my standard user in my Salesforce org and I'm going to give read permission and as you can see it turned to gray gray means the permission has been configured and uh, if you don't want to share it we can click on none then record will not be shared and we can see we can click on this tab which is named as view and edit current permission and this will list out that this particular record HR manager has been shared with how many users how many roles and what the what are the permission
so as you can see this this record has been shared with Ajit. Reason is manual sharing and the access level is free. So that's the way we can perform a manual sharing in Salesforce Lightning experience. So this is an out of box. This is an out of box solution which we have to configure manually. And this can be done easily with the help of an uh, external application for Lightning sharing, which we can download from the app exchange. So that's all in this video. I hope. This video will help you and this will solve a lot of issues and uh, you might be struggling in performing the manual sharing in Salesforce Lightning experience. So this will help you out. If you like this video, don't forget to press the bell icon to get more updates on upcoming videos. If you like this video, don't press the like button. If you have any comments, you can post your comments in comment box to know more about the course content. If you have some training requirements, or some support requirement, you can visit our website www.aitech1.com or you can reach out to us on these numbers or this email. So you can write to us on support at the rate aitech1.com or info at the rate aitech. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.